Some exciting news here. Detroit's North End neighborhood has a new grocery store, but it's not your typical everyday supermarket. That's right. It's a cooperative owned by the community and for the community. Well, today I got the chance to hear from Detroiters what a big deal this is to people who live nearby and about how you can help make it a success. Shirley Davis told me she only had to walk down the alley to get to the co-op. After 14 years, can you believe this day has arrived? Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. I am so happy. I've been waiting on this forever. She explained that 20 years ago, another grocery store there had burned down, and the neighborhood was left with only two options, the gas station or the local dollar store. She said, finally, they're servicing the people in their community. We're doing a lot of things over here on the north end, and people need to come and see what we're doing. Gabrielle Davis works for the co-op. I'm lucky in my, in my life outside of Detroit People's School Co-op, I get to work with a number of different co-ops. And often, oftentimes they talk about how slow membership grows sometimes. But to see it grow so fast um, since, since opening and just, you know, in less than a day is absolutely exceptional. The goal is to get 3,000 members, and they've already gained over 100 in just one day. What do you think that says about the community? If the community really, truly believes it's for them. Malik Yakani is the executive director of the Detroit Black Community Food Sovereignty Network, the co-owners and developers of the co-op. Tell me about what the state means to you. Well, it's kind of the culmination, really, of 14 years of work. We started working on this in 2010, and so to be at opening day is a tremendous milestone. He says the ownership is composed of nearly 3,000 people of all backgrounds. But this is black led. It is unapologetically focused on uplifting the black community. So what we're really trying to do is create a circular economy so that the money that we spend on groceries is circulated within our community. I also ran into Melanie McElroy, whose family farm in Hillsdale is supplying the beef being sold at the co-op. It's been so exciting as a member of the community to see this 15 year long vision actually come to life. She says this is the first time they've ever sold at a grocery store. And tell me about being here on the first day that they're open. Oh, it was very emotional for me. I am a community organizer by trade, and so just seeing folks come together, show that things can be born out of community and owned by community, and really have a people first focus is so important to us. It was so full of people in life today. It was great to be there. And as you can see, they're pretty close to actually meeting their member goal. Like they're at 2,900 around, so not Aww. so far to go. And you can become a member. It's only 200 bucks for life. For life? To be a member. Okay. And uh, you can find a link to that on our website, WXYZ.com. I think that is awesome. Yeah. So needed. Just beautiful. Much needed. No more dollar store for groceries. <laughs> beautiful. Thanks, Karen.